Haus am Mantel. The tournament. Am I too late to sign up? We've one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige Lake. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia. Saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer-in-chief. Our turn is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see, to spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skelligan, the new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit, the rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligans, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, ogle us from the car. Ran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Kreite, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to defies the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellig is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy. Standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Hmm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. That one no. Sloth doth one gratify. Ah! Best cure for the beast, a witcher. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? 
I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights want to the roads, protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Greetings, Knight. Wouldn't mind it.
can't help but be curious. But where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her standing order that any knight may receive a wage. <coughs> Pardon me. Financial compensation for his dedication to defending the Duchy's internal security and order. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you?
to throw your kid into the pool. Greetings, Knight. Wouldn't happen.
you still bust your bum. What's this about? Monsters! Monsters there, in the cave! We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside! Hugo? Our brother! He's still in there, inside! Help us find him! We'll pay you for your toil! You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition unaccompanied. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait! Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Noticed what attacked you? There was no time! We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well, he went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. Why do you even go in there? We... lost our way. Hmm. Mistake that cave for the high road? By the hair on my chinny chin chin, what difference does it make whether we went in for a stroll or to gather stewards? Hugo remains inside, in grave danger. That's what matters. Will you go in after him, or not? Every second could be vital. I could look into it, but it'll cost you. How much would you take? A reasonable price. Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here.
fresh blood on the blade. Weapon was Hugo's, maybe. Blood trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. Warm and damp. Kikimors prefer cooler environments. Probably why they keep their distance. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Dizards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fended them off! Now! They sent a brigand to finish the job! What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels! More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business. Literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. What about the missing part? Find it? No. I know only that it's in this cave, likely at the bottom of a pool. I feel awkward to ask, but as I am wounded, would you be kind and retrieve it? Fine, I can do that. But you must know, I, I cannot pay you well. Figured as much. Start producing cognac, I'll come by for a discount. That, I promise you. Wait here. Watch it. Could use some protection. Maybe Quen will work. the missing part. Really hit that well, your father. Oh, that's fantastic. Your pay. It is not much, I know, but I promise you good prices. The best once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers! They've rounded up some thugs! They mean to attack me! We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence? That they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please, you may only hope. Kill them. Elsewise, they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well... Perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I 
don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? Not about to start cutting folk down because of a family squabble about some spare bit of machinery. We're going over there, and you're gonna settle this, talk it out. But, should they attack, you will protect me, will you not? If they attack, I'm provoked. Let's go. Hyoko! Are you well? We were worried! Why do I doubt this? Listen, while you were in there, we realized this Tiff is senseless, idiotic. You might have been harmed, gravely, and that's something we could never live down. Lucian is right. We must bury this hatchet, work together as father wished it. Hmm. Claim to come in peace. But then who are these men? Hunters, who had made camp nearby. They spotted us and asked if we had no need for their aid. You went in, were gone a long time. With these men to help, we thought we might come to your rescue. All right, glad to see you've made up. Now I really need to get back to my own affairs. Naturally. Your payment. We thank you for your help. Should you ever find yourself near the Clever Clogs, you must stop in. Superb, Cognac. Some of the best. Will do. So long. Let's go!
awaits the best offer. Mademoiselle, Monsieur, we must remain. For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, happy? This is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? Better. A connoisseur. <laughs> I see we speak the same tongue. So tell me, the swords, you merely wear them to intimidate? Or do you actually use them? Tools of my trade. I'm a witcher. Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home. At Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward, gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar-sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? That sounds fair. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Psst. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with the dashing gaze, the fair face, then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Fine. Settled. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. I stand.
Hook the lad! Kissa herself! I wonder what the old lady is fixing for supper. Get up. Oh. Just wonderful. Just trying to get away. <laughs> 